All right, folks, with a little K-Cup Maxwell House coffee from Coons Market, we begin our broadcast day here at the home office on this frigid Tuesday, January 2nd, 2018. To your headlines, President Donald Trump today said the U.S. is watching the brutal and corrupt Iranian regime amid deadly protests in the country, continuing his public support for anti-government demonstrators. The death toll during the protest now stands at 21. From Islamabad, Pakistan, the government there held an emergency security meeting today after U.S. President Donald Trump accused Islamabad of lies and deceit in a New Year's Day tweet. Hoda Kotb, who was filled in on NBC's Today show since Matt Lauer was fired in November, is officially now his replacement. The promotion means that Kotb and Savannah Guthrie will co-host the Fame Morning Show. Welcome to 2018. Here's a week-long deep freeze to help you celebrate. Brutal chill that froze much of the country. New Year's Day will get even more miserable later this week. The wind chill plummeted to minus 28 in Fargo, North Dakota today. Today's high in our area, about 15, or a low of around 3, not figuring the wind chill factor, and more of the same throughout the week. You can get the latest throughout the day from the folks at AccuWeather, and if need be, the NRG Storm Center will be open for business at News Radio 1020 KDKA. South Korea has welcomed Kim Jong-un's apparent willingness to enter into dialogue and called for swift measures to help North Korea participate in the upcoming Winter Olympics. This all took place today during a cabinet meeting in Seoul. College football, the Las Vegas Superbook has made Alabama an early four-point favorite over Georgia for the national championship game on Monday, January the 8th at 8 p.m. Now, here's how they got there. Yesterday, in one for the ages, Jake Fromm threw for 210 yards and two touchdowns as the Bulldogs defeated Oklahoma in a shootout in double overtime, 54-48. While Bama got 120 yards in the air and two touchdowns from quarterback Jalen Hurt and defeated Clemson 24-6. Also yesterday, college bowl action, Mackenzie Milton threw for two scores and rushed for 116 yards and ran for a score as UCF defeated Auburn 34-27. And Notre Dame defeated LSU 21-17. The Pens tonight on the NBC Sports Network at 7 o'clock from the Wells Fargo Center Start the new year off trying to find their game, that high-octane offense that has given them back-to-back -back Stanley Cups when the puck drops against the Flyers. And tonight, college basketball on the hardwood at the KFC Yum Center in Louisville at 9 o'clock. It's the Pitt Panthers on the road, and you can hear it on 93.7 The Fan. Yesterday, the NFL, a lot of coaching moves out. John Fox in Chicago, Jim Caldwell in Detroit, Chuck Pagano, with Indianapolis, the Giants still looking for their coach after Coach McAdoo was fired weeks ago. The Raiders have said goodbye to Jack Del Rio. Could John Gruden be going back to Oakland? Marvin Lewis will not get a renewed contract with the Bengals. And Bruce Arians, former Steelers offensive coordinator and the winningest coach in Arizona Cardinal history, has decided to retire at the age of 65. Entertainment news, I saw this earlier on YouTube and you can check it out on his site. Guess who's back with a new album to drop? February 2nd, Justin Timberlake. It's all to accompany his Super Bowl halftime show. The LP, Man of the Woods, saying it is his most personal album ever inspired by his family life and his upbringing in Tennessee. Again, you can get more at his YouTube site. And also, back one of the funniest people on the planet, talking about the Hollywood scandal and much more that has been in the headlines, Dave Chappelle is on Netflix. Now, let me tell you about what is happening on Rob Pratt Tuesday night. Now, we start at 7 o'clock, and Rob Young, the CEO of the Pittsburgh RB Show, will be joining us. Now, that starts this weekend and runs through January 14th. Nine acres of some of the most incredible RBs you will see anywhere in the comfort of the beautiful David L. Lawrence Convention Center. And also joining us, the president of Three Rivers Promotion, my good friend Randy Genicola. That's coming up in the 7 o'clock hour. More about the headlines of today, and one of the things we got talking about last night, California's first day with recreational marijuana moving forward. What does that mean for the possibility of that trend and medical marijuana going and sweeping across the country, and how could it affect us here in our neck of the woods? We'll talk about that and a lot more. Then in the 9 o'clock hour, don't forget, Andy Amrine will join us talking about the upcoming cold weather. And then at 10 o'clock, as they begin the new year at Heffern Tillotson, 
getting ready to celebrate 70 years of business started back helping people with wealth management in 1948. They have a new television commercial that's out. And of course, they're back each and every Sunday. And we are so happy about that with one of Barron's top 100 financial advisors for years, Jim Meredith, of course, with the morning commentary, son Jamie Meredith with Ask the Advisor, and of course, all of those great dollar bank instant access messages, and yes, most importantly, your phone calls. And Heffron Tillotson, of course, the folks behind the master plan. And again, let me be the first to say, Happy 70th. Tonight in the 10 o'clock hour, we look back at all of the major business news and also the major news from Wall Street with Brian Coble and Mauricio Viad. Plus, we sneak peek just a little into what will be happening or what they believe the trends will be in 2018. So that's coming up in the 10 o'clock hour tonight. So ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that you join me. I'll be waiting for you. The coffee will be on. Rock Crack Tuesday night starts at 7 on News Radio 1020 KDKA. Good afternoon.